welcome back class 12 students this is part 4 of the topic tenses the topic of today is the future tense let us take the simple future tense The simple future tense is used to express an action which will take place in the future. Simple future tense is used to indicate an offer or a promise and also it is used to indicate an instant decision. Look at the examples. He will be 17 tomorrow. I will eat jackfruit. Look at the verbs used in the two sentences. The first sentence takes will be as the main verb which is the simplest form of a future tense. Will be is a helping verb and here it works as a main verb. Look at the second sentence. Will plus the verb eat is used, which means the auxiliary verb will plus any regular or irregular verb makes a sentence in the simple future tense. Students carefully take care of the verbs used in these two examples now let us see the future continuous tense the future continuous tense is used to indicate an action that will be going on in the future the future continuous tense is used to refer to planned events related to travel and tourism etc this tense also is used to indicate an action which is a result of a routine. The moment you listen to the term continuous tense, the first thing you have to remember is the ing form of a verb. The ing form of the verb in grammar is known as present participle. The present participle form of the verb is used in the future continuous tense with the helping verb will be. Look at the example sentence. I will be traveling to Hazardwari. We will be traveling to Hazardwari. You will be traveling to Hazardwari. And so he, she, it and they will be traveling to Hazardwari. Students carefully take care of the verb used here. Remember will be plus verb ing form of a verb is used here to indicate that the sentence is in the future continuous tense. This is the end of part 4.